Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the first API. Today we are going to learn HTML form templates. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. To render HTML form templates for the first API, you can use the combination of Jinja2 templates for rendering HTML and the form parameter type to handle the form submissions. Here is the basic example. You can create and render an HTML form with fast API. Okay, in the last video, I'm just teaching you like uh, how to serve the static files in the fast API. I just forget one thing that is you have to create the static folder. In the static folder, you can do like CSS style CSS and JS script.js, right? So this thing I have missed. So you can do this and you can link the path like this in your index.html. Okay, let's process with the HTML form templates. So here we have a sample templates form.html. Let's try to add this form.html. Or uh, here I have using the Python. Yes, I think I have used just create this file. Okay, so in this one templates, I'm not need to create the form.html. Let's try to just copy and paste this. Done. Name, email ID and the submit button. Okay. Next, we have the main Python code. So Jinja templates I'm using. Okay, let's try to copy and paste this and return all the data that were submitted in the form. So here we go with this one. Let's close this. So what we're trying to do, we are using the import for fast API. We are using form and the request from the HTML responses. We are using import this one. And from the templating, Jinja2 templates, we are importing the templating part. Okay. So, initialize the Jinja2 template, Jinja2 templates directory should be templates. Route handler for entering the form. So, this is route handler that is response class, HTML response. This is the method. Okay. Then show form that is request. So, we are using request part. So, templates to be rendered that is form HTML request. Okay. In the index, index is form.html part. Right. And after submitting the form, so we are just sending the request to this one and uh, we are printing the name and the email. Okay, let's try to save this. Go to the terminal, already running. Let's go to the my website. Let's try to reload. We have the form. Let's try to submit this. Okay, and let's try to submit. And uh, here you can see that the submit form response is name and the email. Okay, In the network. Here you can see that the submit form request is there, response is there, right? So this is how you can do, do that way, okay? Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. In the next video, what we are trying to learn, let's have a look of that one also. That is cookies parameters. How to get the cookies from an HTTP request using the fast API in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.